Aiden searched for Gwen's image in the thunderclouds, but the aircraft banked hard to the right and threw him back into the seat. No, not into the storm, Aiden thought urgently. He grabbed the armrest and tried to pull himself back to the window. Aiden, his dad yelled. Aiden, sit back. The airplane was steering directly for the massive black cloud fortress. Lightning rippled across the cloud, turning it the color of an ugly bruise. And there, in the center of the massive thunderhead, was a hollow of darkness. The plane began to shudder and bounce like a speeding boat on rough surf. Lightning lit up the cabin. Passengers shrieked and gasped. The engines screamed, and the plane banked back to the left. Everything shook. It felt as if the cabin would break apart under the strain. Then, just as suddenly, the plane leveled out. The lights came back on. Hundreds of passengers sighed. You okay? Aiden's dad asked. Aiden wasn't sure. He wasn't hurt, but he didn't feel okay exactly either. I saw Gwen, he whispered. What? When the lightning flashed, I saw her in the window. She looked scared, Dad. I think she's in trouble. You've been thinking a lot about Antoinette being in the realm, and Gwen is her glimpse. They look alike. Maybe, Dad, I saw her, Aiden replied. Something has gone terribly wrong. The clouds outside, the storm, it wasn't normal. This is your captain speaking, came a tinny voice from the speakers. Sorry about the bumps back there. The thunderstorm to our south intensified. We've, uh, adjusted our course to keep our distance. Well, duh, someone said in the seat behind Aiden. That sounds like a plan. The passengers nearby laughed nervously. We will be beginning our initial descent into the Baltimore-Washington area in about half an hour, the captain continued. We don't anticipate any more problems. Well, that's a relief, said Aiden's dad. The other passengers buzzed with conversation. A little blonde girl in the next row tugged at her mother's sleeve. Aiden nodded and turned to look back out of the window. Intermittent bright flashes of lightning illuminated the dark clouds bubbling in the distance. Why did I see you, Gwen? Aiden wondered closing his eyes and picturing her beautiful, pale face. Was it a foretelling, as so many of his visions had been? Had something happened to Antoinette in the realm? A strange noise from the rear of the plane interrupted Aiden's thoughts. It reminded him of the buzzer for the dryer that lets you know when the cycle was done. He turned, unclasped the seat belt, and looked back over the headrest. A muffled Boom followed. Then a sharp cracking sound. The plane shook. Some of the passengers cried out. A businessman's laptop skittered into the aisle. Aiden, sit down and put your seat belt back on, said Aiden's father in a quiet but commanding voice. Aiden sat down hard and clasped his seat belt. He looked up at the flight attendant, who was still buckled into her own seat behind the cabin. An older gentleman had gotten up and peppered her with questions. Finally, she ushered him back into his seat. She belted herself in again and grabbed an intercom mic. The last thing Aiden saw, before the curtain hid her from view, was her colorless and terror-stricken face. 